In today's show, we find out which students won an award from the VA, which Seaman High School senior donated a gallon of blood, and we find out what's trending. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Haley. And I'm Ryan, and here's your daily news. One of our students will be wearing a special red cord at graduation. Let's go check it out. Hey Vikes, graduation is coming up and Sierra Massing is wearing a special red cord. So what does this mean? So the red cord is for gallon grads and once you donate a gallon of blood, the Community Blood Center will select people to be a gallon grad. Why did you choose to donate a gallon of blood? So I've been donating since I was 16. My mom got me onto it and we've been going since the day I turned 16. All right, thanks, Sierra. Make sure to congratulate her at graduation. I don't know if I could give that much blood. Yeah, it's a little too much for my liking. Now for your announcements. Today is the application deadline to join the Writing Center. Questions and application materials can be directed to Ms. Sands in W6. Eight FCCLA members have qualified for nationals in Anaheim, California. And to help defray the cost, they're holding multiple fundraisers. They're selling burritos, one for $2 or a dozen for $20. Email Ms. Jones to order. The SHS parking permit process will be moved to an online format beginning on July 5th. SHS drivers can visit a site which will allow them to choose and pay for their parking permits. Senior laptop check-in starts today. 9th, 10th, and 11th starts May 21st. Congratulations to SHS senior Meredith Lewis who received second place in Congressman Steve Watkins' 2019 Congressional Art Competition. Congratulations to Aaron Hebert for being selected for the Writing Center Scholarship on behalf of the Viking Brew Coffee Shop. Congrats, Aaron. Now we have head over to Kylie to find out what's trending. Hey Vikes, Wait, I'm Kaylee Workman here? and I'm here to tell you what's trending. Last week was our first episode of the Kansas Camp. Today, we're catching up with Michaela Miller to see her after high school plans. Let's go check it out. Hello, I'm Michaela Miller. I go to Seaman High School. I will be attending Washburn University in the fall for nursing. Kansas can, and I am. Thank you, Michaela. That's all we have for today. Have a great day, Vikes. Congratulations, Michaela. From now on, the Ryan Center is only open during seminar in Ms. Sands Room W6. The Viking Brew Coffee Shop will be closed during finals week. The last day to purchase coffee is this Friday, May 17th. Math Lab will be closed after school today. Do you want to go to Rome and Florence in 2021? If so, talk to Mr. McAllister for more information. The following students have been selected as this week's safe winners, Aaron Orozco, Cameron Nickel, and Ben Laird. Thank you for pledging to always wear your seatbelt. Stop by the security office to pick up your prize. If you ordered a Running with the Bulls shirt and have not picked it up yet, please come to room C3 to collect it from Coach Kelly. Some students at Seaman High School won awards from the VA for a video they made. Let's go check it out. Seaman High School was introduced to a project for the VA of Eastern Kansas. This project would then be used all over the VA's website and used as some of the resources for veterans. Welcome to the VA Eastern Kansas Healthcare System. So we made a video for the VA. It's like an orientation video where it's like a welcoming video. So new veterans will watch it and then they will, uh, it shows them what they need to do in the process to get in, into the VA. You guys got some top-notch student friends here, all right? So they've been out there and they took a, took what, a couple weeks? So we got these certificates from the VA because we shot all the shots for the video, we edited it, found music, did closed captioning, and then um, they're gonna embed it on their website for veterans to watch. We were, we were fortunate enough to uh, partner with Seaman High School in, in this class in trying to put together a patient education video. So we threw out the vision and we let them run like crazy with their creativity and the end result is fantastic. He's cared of veterans for over 115 years. Reagan Bond, Joseph Cromie, and Ethan Guzman, they were all handed a certificate for all their hard work. The VA learned that Seaman High students can make very professional videos. Health and wellness of the veteran population we serve. We are proud to serve you. 
Thank you for choosing and trusting us at Eastern Kansas with your health care needs. But most of all, thank, thank you, you for, for your service. service. Congrats to our Broadcast 2 students. Now over to Haley after this quick commercial break. Yo, dude. Man, you need to clean out your locker. Yeah, man, no, no kidding. <laughs> Thanks for getting me out. No problem. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Hi, my name's Elias Mosher, and I used to not be able to do parkour. You see, I got so tired because I had a lack of vitamins. But with the help of salad, I've got all the vitamins I need. I can just nozzle this stuff down. Mmm, delish. And now I have all the vitamins to do all this great parkour. We return you now to your regularly scheduled program. Coach Tuck and former Coach Garmin instruct the Shawnee Sharks, which is a team designed for advanced swimmers entering grades 7 through 12 to improve strokes and provide a solid workout. If interested, contact them for more information. $20 sports physicals will be available through the 13th and 14th from 5.30 to 8 at a sports medicine clinic. For more information, pick up your physical packet and stop by the athletic department. Baseball won both their games receiving regional champs for the 16th consecutive year. Soccer won 6-0 last night, also winning their regionals. Congratulations to both. Softball is in action tonight to see how they do in regionals. Good luck, Vikes. Now over to weatherman Josh Duncan to see if the heat is going to continue. Good afternoon to you. Nice weather continues over the next few days. Let's take a look today, warm weather tomorrow, warm but approaching hot in the afternoon, especially with heat index values that'll be in the lower 90s for your Thursday. Then Friday, slight relief back, toward, back down towards warm levels, but still a good stretch of some weather in this middle part of May. Then we're tracking some big changes coming up starting with the weekend on Saturday. Storms are likely across eastern Kansas and those could pose the risk for some severe weather. We're not going to get too detailed in the exact outlook just yet, but stay tuned tomorrow and Friday. We'll provide a more specific forecast for Saturday's threat. And checking out the SBTV seven day forecast as a whole, you can see that we do cool down slightly on Saturday with 77 degrees, then Sunday and Monday hanging around in the upper 60s to around 70. More storms are likely Monday and Tuesday, but Sunday for graduation should be, gr should be dry. Just can't rely on a couple lingering showers in the morning. Now back to your anchors. Thanks Josh. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Let me brace you. Tomorrow, we will have the final episode of Guess the Song. Have a great rest of your day.